Welcome back to Serafina Tarot. I am Serafina and this is a journey spread for Taurus. Uh, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, uh, this reading may apply to you. You take what resonates. Uh, there's a cat, my kitty in the background, that's very excited about a lizard that she just saw. So just bear in mind that you may see some crazy cat antics in the background. Um, Taurus, I'm going to try and not be distracted by the fact that my cat is trying to catch a lizard. Um, Taurus, I can see from your spread that you've been, um, in an environment, uh, a, a fairly toxic environment, and it seems that it's been for a long time. You have been judged your whole life. You have been underestimated your whole life us and you it has created from the first card out i see these two of wands in reverse i see that this is really it's allowed you to doubt yourself it's allowed you to being in this this situation whether it's family whether it's that you've had a lot of toxic friends a lot of frenemies a lot of uh, passive aggressive people in your environment and in your life it's allowed you to doubt your true potential. It's allowed you to doubt yourself. Um, yeah, because you have great plans. You have great plans for yourself and your world with this King of Wands energy here. You have, you want to take over the world. I, are you planning to take over the world, Taurus? Are you planning, because these plans are large and great and on the scale that you want to impact the world you don't want to just um this taurus is not somebody that wants to get a better job and drive a nice car have a, we all want those things but the uh the taurus energy that i'm picking up on has great and grand plans and uh they have this doubt um, and this pause, and I and I think it's because it's this this overriding energy that you've been underestimated your whole life. You've been gaslit your whole life, and you have been. I mean, there's like you're, but you're done. You're done with that. You're done being gaslit. You're done being overlooked. You're done being underestimated. You're done. Because you're ready to, like, step out. You're this hypervigilance that you've um, always had to walk through life with, Taurus, about who's going to be um, trying to steal from you. Who's going to be trying to take from you. Who, like, almost not showing, having to hide your light having to hide the, your happiness around certain people that you're really happy because they're unhappy and so you can't appear to be too happy. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing uh, someone who, if they're having like an absolutely wonderful, great day or they've had something marvelous happen to them, they can't fully be in that energy because the people around them would... would just randomly attack and they know that so they've had to walk through life with this sort of hyper vigilance and you're done Taurus you are done 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 you are done having to constantly be armoring and guarding yourself against slander and backbiting and gossip and you're done having to put energy towards that and Coming out next is this King of Swords. I mean, and I want to show you these two. This King of Swords and this Ace of Wands are the result of being done with that hypervigilant um, armored energy, right? This sword and this wand is came when Taurus stopped using, I don't know if you can see that, like 
stopped using this energy, so much of this energy, to guard themselves and fight themselves and hide themselves and hide their light. They have this sword that's hidden between. This is a, this sword broke in two and now has a sword and a wand because if you look at this sword this sword has a wand on top of it and so with you being done with this energy right being done with this energy you're able to take that <clears throat> and now plot and scheme <laughs> Plot scheme, um, <clears throat> breakthrough, um, you know, into creating what you want. Like this, uh, there is still, there is still that lingering energy, even though that you are so done. Of fighting battles that you've already won. Fighting battles that you've already won, Taurus. Um, that is still lingering in your mind. And it is still bleeding over to create that doubt um, of you, you know, truly 100% like diving head deep into your plan. So, this energy that has surrounded you your whole life has allowed you to doubt yourself and the fact that you can have these grand plans, you know, you have these grand plans that you can actually achieve the things that you want to achieve, that you can put these plans into action, but we're seeing that you're actually really done. You're kind of done having to um, always be worried about other people, other people's opinions, other people's projections on you, people trying to steal from you, uh, the gossip, um, the disapproval, and you're done with that. And you've taken the energy of having to guard yourself and you have put it into breaking breaking down breaking down barriers and walls um using that energy but there is still some of that lingering in your mind um that you're still you're still having these doubts and that's where these doubts are coming from you're still <laughs> Did you get your lizard? You did? No? Okay. I'm just doing a reading. What did you want to tell Taurus? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there is still that energy of you fighting battles in your mind. Perhaps with some of these people that are still in your energy. They are still in your energy field. Um, and even though you've really diverted quite a lot of that energy uh, towards enacting your plans, um, some of that is, some of that um, is still lingering on. So this is your headspace at the moment. This is the Princess of Swords. This is telling me that you are Putting all of those ideas into action. You're making concrete plans. You are absolutely moving ahead with the desires and dreams that you have. You're absolutely uh, committed to doing that. So it's just really that sort of lingering, niggling sort of energy. Um, you know, almost maybe, you know, the me thank you this sort of lingering energy um these lingering ideas maybe you know playing in your head of things that people have said 
about you or to you um, are their opinions of you, their projections of you um, still lingering there, but you are absolutely poised to do exactly what you want, how you want it, when you want it. Uh, in your reality, the true state of your reality, I have patience reverse, call reverse, temptation reverse, the queen of air and the messenger of water. These are your cards, right? Patience and the call came out together and these are reversed um, along with the temptation card. And this is really telling me that, again, it's just that ning niggling energy because you have the Queen of Swords, you know, just you're like ready to pick up that fight all over again, even though you're kind of like done with that energy, like you're done giving people your energy. You still have that sword in that rest position, uh, ready to take up those battles, you know, and, you know, listening to the whispers listening to the whispers in the wind um and it's just causing mm, a slight pause like this is your passion this is your life's work um you are exactly where you're supposed to be doing what you want to do but this lingering energy of whispers on the wind um, maybe uh, things that maybe parents uh, or, or siblings would have said to you or uh, significant people in your past may have said to you is causing you to be distracted. Causing you to be distracted from uh, actioning, fully immersing and actioning in your fully immersing yourself in your goal, like thoroughly diving yourself headfirst into action, into achieving the reality that you want to build for yourself. You're getting distracted. Taurus, just focus on what you want. Just focus on what you want to achieve, your dreams, and ignore everything else. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this reading. Thank you so much.